is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with EFRS. And today, this is a good one. So, NASCAR is finally back after a 71 day hiatus because of the pandemic. It's been 10 weeks. And NASCAR finally came back in action at the Lady in Black Too Tough to Tame at Darlington Raceway. With no practice, no qualifying. Just go to Darlington and just get ready to race. That's it. And there were like a little nerve coming into the race. Like because there's no practice or qualifying. We were really concerned if there's going to be like a first lap wreck. Like a big one. Honestly, I was I was one of those people. And uh, yeah. So. I'm not trying to do like a race review, but here's a little recap. Um, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. typical, just wrecked on a first lap. You know NASCAR's back when Ricky Stenhouse Jr. crashes. So, let's just be real. Do your hate comment, I don't care. I really don't care. Anyway, so, and then we had Jimmy Johnson. Uh, like the Hendrick cars were top three. We had Johnson, Bowman, and Byron. Chase Elliott was like... Either between at the end of the top 10, outside the top 10, top 15, somewhere over there. He just was not there with his teammates. And then unfortunately, on the last lap of the first stage, Johnson got into Chris Busher in, on the back stretch. Um, Johnson was too aggressive. Uh, he got into Busher, Busher at the wall, then got to Jimmy. Basically, NASCAR Heat 3 logic and crashed in the inside wall hard I won the first stage and as a Johnson fan that 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 hurts that really hurts to be honest like whenever Jimmy lately whenever Jimmy always has these good runs something always happens something bad always happens to him however there's a bright side to this everybody knows he's got a fast car he'll be back on Wednesday hopefully he can actually Get the dub, finally, because it's been almost three years. Man. And then, like, I and I was hoping things would get better. But as a Hendrick fan, it did not. William Byron had a loose tire wheel in turn three. Hit the wall. And then, and then entering turn one. Just fun. Um, Racing Nation TV pointed out, like, the common part of the race was everybody hitting the wall and then everybody just spinning and the caution there were some inconsistent calls there were some that were all right i will admit that and he did bring up a good point but as a hendrick fan i was ha i was half dying on the inside because hendrick car three hendrick cars were in the top three the next thing you know half of them were, were gone so yeah it was like, uh, it like nearly killed half the team during that race. Hate to see it. It hurts. But, um, there was like these storylines coming into this race. Brian Newman coming back to the number six after his Daytona 500 crash. Matt Kenseth coming back into the 42. For the first, uh, for the first time since the Larson incident. And this is an underrated opinion. Matt Kenseth has not raced in the Cup Series for the first time since November of 2018 at Homestead coming into Darlington. He finished 6th at Homestead. And then Matt Kenseth came back to Darlington with no practice, no qualifying, just raced, and finished top 10. If you ask me... That's that's legendary, honestly. It may not be for you guys, but think about it. Imagine not being in a cup car for a year and a half. Then you get a call from Ganassi. And then you come back to a race with no practice and qualifying. And then you finish top 10. That's crazy, honestly. Yeah, that's that's a legendary thing. I would never thought I would never think that would that would happen. Woo! Honestly, if you ask me, Mac, that was like a legendary moment for Matt Kenseth. Underrated, if you ask me. I know he wasn't like there most of the race. Um, like top 10 or whatever, he was just top 20s. 
outside the top 20, top 15, all that stuff. But to finish in the top 10 after not racing the Cup Series for a year and a half, that's amazing, if you ask me. Woo! That's awesome. Hopefully, Matt Kisses will do fine to 42 moving forward to the end of the season. Anyway, so that we have these random more cautions. Oh, yeah, the, the blue MU banner. Honestly, that was the most pointless place to put it in the wall. Like, come on, it's Darlington. You really think no one's going to hit the wall? I don't know why placing a banner in the corner is such a good idea. Honestly, that was just a bad, bad take. Darling to do that. Also, fuck you, Blue MU, for being such pussies. And be like, we don't sponsor quitters who quit on iRacing. We are out of here. Like I said, Blue MU, uh, Blue MU takes the L because Bob was a real race car driver, not an iRacing driver, esports driver. And Blue MU, and to do that in public on Twitter, um, that's a big pussy move and not a business move. They were just immature about that. So that's fucking karma. <sighs> and then, like, there were some more spins. Newman spun. And then, on the last restart, Bowman was so close. But he just couldn't get to Harvick after the restarts. And then, Kevin Harvick wins the return of NASCAR at Darlington. His 50th career win. That's a milestone. He will get more wins. Uh, whenever he's done. Honestly, he's still in his prime in his 40s. Am I the only one that thinks about this? Or am I the only one that is saying this? He's in his 40s and he's still in his prime. Honestly, making the move to Stuart Hall's racing was the best thing he's ever done in his career. Take that, Richard Childers Racing. Hmm, ironic. Anyway. So... My personal opinion about the race. Honestly, I will admit, you guys know me. If you guys know me, I don't like the 550 horsepower package. That package is garbage. It's not scaled. It's slow as hell. But, I will admit this. The Darlington race from yesterday was actually good. Not fantastic. Not like the greatest thing ever. But honestly, I think it was a good race. I enjoyed it. It was awesome, and it was just a good feeling to see NASCAR returning after two months. I know I crap on NASCAR a lot because of their stupid takes, their stupid calls, making up some stupid bullshit rules and making things gimmick. Yeah, I crap on NASCAR for a lot of things because of Ryan Brands mainly. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be crapping on them, and they wouldn't be declined. They wouldn't be like declined over the years. That was just going on, but. Just because I criticize the sport doesn't mean I hate it. I I still like watching NASCAR. Honestly, I can't even live without it. Even if I want to miss a race, even if I do miss races on purpose because of the patterns, um, I still miss it on the inside. I still want to watch NASCAR. I yes, I criticize NASCAR. And I get I get criticized for criticizing NASCAR, but I criticize them because I care. I love the sport. I want them to succeed. I want them to learn from their mistakes when they've had Brian France. I criticize NASCAR because I care. If I was a really, if I was a hater of NASCAR, I would be like the boomers. NASCAR is dying. NASCAR is dead. NASCAR died when Dale Earnhardt died, etc. I don't hate the sport. I just hate the stupidity. Okay. I'm a motorsports fanatic. And I want to see racing, not fall sports gimmicks. Okay? Are we even now? For the people who criticize me back. Or criticize the sport. Are we good? Okay. Maybe I want to do that the other day, so I do apologize for going off topic. So yeah, awesome to see NASCAR back. Awesome that motorsports is back in business. I can't wait for IndyCar to open again. I can't wait for Xfinity tomorrow. I can't wait for trucks next week. I can't wait for, I already said IndyCar, right? I'll say it again, uh, if I didn't. I can't wait for IndyCar in June. Um, Imps is coming back, I think, late June or early July. Um, Formula One's coming in July. ARC is back in June. 
So yeah, having mo so yeah, motorsports is rolling back the business, baby. So yeah. So the real hero, the 2020 real hero, the real heroes 400 was a success. And I know, and I've been hearing that hey, there are new people watching the race. If you're new to the sport, of course. I welcome you to the sport. We are all open arms, even though the NASCAR fan base is toxic. But me, I welcome anybody to the sport. However, just to let you guys know, if you guys are new to the sport, um, we never had these ball sports gimmicks, just to let you know. We had one CEO having those gimmicks and NASCAR dropped and NASCAR's in the fix. So yeah, don't fall for those gimmicks. So yeah, um, I hope you guys participated in the 100k cams because I love the 100k cam series. I made it on TV in the 2016 Daytona 500. Hopefully my YouTube friends, hopefully you guys in general made it to Sunday's documentary. Hopefully I did as well because I just love the 100k cams. Who doesn't want to be on TV? Huh? Huh? Who doesn't want to be on TV? Show your... Show your spirit of your love of your passion all that stuff hell yeah Woo. all right so i think that's about i think that wraps up everything one more thing i also want to thank once again the doctors for helping everybody who suffered from this pandemic help um the people who are still having the coronavirus are okay recovering for those who are lost or for the people who lost their loved ones from the pandemic, I do sincerely apologize for the loss, not the prayers for you guys. 2020 is a definitely horrible year. Hopefully 2021 will be better next year, stronger. But anyway, I do want to thank the doctors for taking care of everybody. Thank you to all the essential workers working throughout this pandemic, especially my parents. They're Bell Bond agents, and I want to thank them so much for what they're doing during this time. Don't forget to thank uh, essential workers and doctors for what they're doing. If your parents or family members or loved ones are still working through this pandemic, thank them. Appreciate them. Don't forget to thank them. So, yeah. So, that about wraps up this video this episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I really hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, reminder, tomorrow's Xfinity, Wednesday's the Cup Series, and then Sunday is the Coca-Cola 600. I'm, I love the 600. I know we're gonna have the crappy package, but I still love the 600. It's NASCAR's endurance race. It is NASCAR's Indy 500. Oh, I don't know. It's, I don't know. That's, I'm gonna debate on that myself. But it's one of NASCAR's crown jewels. Who doesn't love the big races? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the entire the rest of the season. Hopefully everything will be back to normal soon. Anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm Ian Press 25 and Ian Press 48 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, enasca 48 Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications on the bell for more content and more episodes of this series. Thank you guys for supporting EE Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe. Goodbye, everybody.